is not a man in this planet that can stop me inside this octagon, and only politics can slow me. Greetings, fellow fight enthusiasts. Prepare for some exciting stories about UFC fighters. We will discuss their wins and losses, as well as their encounters with difficult opponents in the octagon. Starting with CM Punk's brave decision to Mickey Gall's jiu-jitsu mastery and even two of the world's best legends, Royce Gracie and uh, James Tony. these stories will reveal that when it comes to MMA, it isn't just about being triumphant, but about having the courage and resilience to stay on your feet. All right, we're in for two amazing stories. Mickey Gall. Mickey Gall fought Mike Jackson at UFC 82 and won. Mickey was uh, pretty darn good at jiu-jitsu, like a high blue belt. So when he fought CM Punk at UFC 203, things got interesting. CM Punk, who was just dipping his toes into the MMA world, came in swinging for the fences. But Mickey Gall wasted no time, swiftly brought him to the ground, and locked in a rear naked choke in the first round. Ouch, tough break for CM Punk. In a nutshell, Mickey Gall gave CM Punk a run for his money, showing him the ropes in MMA. And Randy Couture, well, he taught James Tony a hard lesson. Boxing alone won't cut it in the UFC. That's just how things went down, folks. Royce Gracie. Let me tell you about Royce Gracie, a very talented Brazilian jiu-jitsu champion. He had a record of 12 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, and 1 fight, which didn't count. One day he faced UFC fighter Matt Hughes and completely dominated him, but... Think about it, Matt Hughes is Gracie's cousin and Gracie wanted payback for something that happened at UFC 60. So a match was set up at HFC 112. Unfortunately, Gracie lost the fight by TKO in the third round. It was a tough beating and after that, he kind of disappeared from the MMA scene. In simple words, Gracie, a jiu-jitsu pro, Fought in MMA with his cousin Matt Hughes, lost, and then the MMA world disappeared. That's the point, folks. Gabe Rudiger. Gabe Rudiger entered the UFC, a prestigious fighting competition with an impressive record of 10 victories and two defeats. His initial UFC fight was against Melvin Gillard at UFC 63. However, fate had other plans. Melvin's knockout triumph sealed Gabe's departure from the UFC. Despite his promising start, the organization deemed him unsuitable for further fights, but Gabe didn't give up. He went on to fight elsewhere and won several victories, but was defeated twice more. The UFC saw this and thought, let's give Gabe another chance. Gabe's story shows that even when you're good at something, sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want it to. But it's cool that he kept trying and didn't give up even when times were tough. Tiki Gosen. Tiki Gosen began his UFC path with three wins, no losses, and one tie. This means he won three times, lost none, and one fight had no winner. His first UFC match didn't go well. He fought Bob Cook at UFC 24, but lost when Bob used a move called a rear naked choke to make him quit. Then, Tiki lost once more to Sean Shirk by submission at UFC 30. This is when you must give up because you're stuck in a grip. After these defeats, the UFC let Tiki go. Even after losing, he did not quit. He won two more bouts and the UFC took him back. But he faced defeat once more to Chris Little at UFC 47 from a bulldog choke, a different kind of hold. This loss made the UFC let him go once again. Tiki's story tells us that even if we try and try, things might not go our way, but it also tells us to keep on moving, to never give up, no matter how tough it gets. Seth Petruzzelli Seth Petruzzelli jumped into the UFC scene with a pretty solid record, seven wins and two losses under his belt. Yep, he'd already nailed down seven victories and only stumbled twice before stepping into the UFC ring. His debut match was against this dude named Matt Hamill. Seth went all in, but unfortunately the judges sided with Matt. Ended up losing by what they call a unanimous decision at UFC Fight Night 6. Tough break for Seth, but hey, it's all part of the fight game. Seth struggled in the UFC, facing hard work and tough battles he didn't always win, yet he persisted, giving his all despite setbacks. His tale exemplifies trying your utmost, never surrendering, even when outcomes disappoint. Dan Lozon, little bro to the famous Joe Lozon, made his UFC debut with an undefeated streak of four wins. That's right, not a single loss on his record before stepping into the octagon. Talk about making an entrance. So when Dan finally got his shot in the UFC, it was a huge moment. Uh, he squared off against Spencer Fisher at UFC 64, but unfortunately it didn't go his way. Ended up taking a TKO loss you know, when the ref steps in because a guy's taking too many hits and just can't fight back properly. After that defeat, the UFC decided to part ways with him, meaning 
They didn't want him fighting under their banner anymore. After two back-to-back -back losses, the UFC let Dan go again. Tough break. His UFC journey had its ups and downs, reminding us how tough the sport can be. Even with talent and hard work, sometimes things don't pan out. But Dan's story teaches us to keep fighting and never give up. Mustafa Al-Turk stepped into the UFC scene, boasting a solid record of six wins and three losses. The dude had a knack for knocking his opponents out cold, you know, making them unable to keep going. So naturally, when he entered the UFC arena, all eyes were on him, eager to see what he'd bring to the table. His first fight was a real nail-biter. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chick Congo at UFC 92, but darn it, luck wasn't on his side that night. Ended up losing the match by TKO, you know, when the ref steps in because the guy's taking too many hits and just can't fend them off anymore. Tough break for Mustafa, so after three straight losses, the UFC cut ties with Mustafa. It's a harsh reminder that the UFC is no joke. Even with knockout skills, you can face tough challenges. Mustafa's time in the UFC was short, but speaks volumes about the sport's unforgiving nature. CM Punk CM Punk is a big shot within the wrestling world. He wanted to try his luck in MMA, even though he had zero fighting experience. UFC gave him a chance and lined up his first ever MMA fight against Mickey Gall at UFC 203. Now here's the thing, CM Punk transformed into a complete amateur in Brazilian jiu-jitsu like today's white belt, but he didn't give up. He trained for over a year to prepare for his big debut. In simple terms, CM Punk, a wrestling big name, decided to give MMA a shot. Even though he didn't know much about fighting, UFC gave him a chance and he trained for a year to fight Mickey Gall at UFC 203. Gilbert Evel is a fighter who came into the UFC with a really impressive record. He won 36 fights lost 16, had one draw, and had one fight that didn't count before he decided to join the UFC. Moreover, he was also quite notorious for not being the nicest guy in the ring and fighting aggressively. Needless to say, most of his wins were against opponents just fighting to survive. So then he went up against Ben Rothwell and, well, it didn't go his way. Yep, he lost that one too. Poor Gilbert must have been feeling it. Goes to show that just because you're a beast outside the UFC doesn't mean it's going to be smooth sailing inside. The UFC has got some serious talent, and staying on top ain't no walk in the park. Gilbert Evil's stint in the UFC paints a clear picture of how brutal the sport can be, even for the best of the best. Dave Herman was stepping into the UFC, a big fighting league with a really good record of 21 fights won and two fights lost. He was off to a hot start after winning his first UFC fight against a guy named John Olav Einemo. So everyone was like, wow, this guy is going to be a beast in the heavyweight division, which is for the big fighters. But everything turned out differently. Dave injured his neck in his next fight with Stefan Struve. In the match against Roy Nelson at UFC 146, he was knocked out. It seems that everything in the ring was against him. Still, Dave didn't stop. After four defeats in a row, the UFC said they couldn't keep him in the league. Well, it's hard when you are a fighter, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Dave Herman had great moments in the professional ring, but eventually he had to leave the UFC. The UFC showed the public how tough of a sport this can be and how something can change in a week for every fighter. And there you have it, fight enthusiasts. The UFC isn't just about winning, it's about confronting challenges head on. Whether it's CM Punk's journey, Mickey Gall's jiu-jitsu, or legends like Royce Gracie and James Tony, they all show us the resilience needed in MMA. Enjoy your favorite fighters because who knows what the octagon will offer next. Thanks for tuning in and Get ready for more MMA action.